Hey, it's Scott. I want to go ahead and just quickly touch on two neuro scales. The first of which, my personal favorite, because it involves absolutely no numbers for you to calculate at 3 a.m., remember is something called the ABPU, otherwise known as the AVPU. And why that works well is simply there's no numbers. So A, remember, means you're awake. V, verbal. Verbal is when you walk up to someone you ever so sweetly whisper in their ear, Mr. Jones! Because many of y'all have met, or if you're honest, admittedly, you are one of them. Whereas you believe that all older patients are hard of hearing. And even better, what about if they don't speak English? What do you do? Talk louder. <laughs> so A is alert, V is verbal, P is pain. U is unresponsive. Meaning you tried all those nasty things, they're unresponsive. Well, that's simply because they're unresponsive. And we consider them to no surprise to be unresponsive. So that's the easier of the two scales is the whole ABPU thing. However, the scourge of many of our existence simply involves, you remember, something called the glasgow Colba scale. And when it comes to the Glasgow, a couple things. Number one, should you memorize it? Absolutely not. Because in real life, you have way too many things to memorize as it is. Number two, every chart I've ever seen in over 30 years of nursing next to the score has a chart reminding you of how many points you get for each. And why would you memorize stuff like this if you don't need to? Take that one step further. Remember that if you look at the Glasgow, that your scores range from 3 to 15. So with that, it would be a whole lot easier if you remembered basic math, meaning 15 divided by 3, and you just got each category to get 5, because that would be basic math. However, nothing in healthcare is that easy. So remember, instead of making it easy, five, five, and five, they give you six, five, and four. So with that in mind, how do you figure out, depending on the category, who gets six, who gets five, and who gets four? So with that, check this out, are you ready? When you drive to work, you have six cylinders in your car's engine. You get six points per motor. If you drive to work and you have not a clue in the world how many cylinders are in your car's engine, but you're pretty confident that your car has an engine, and you can spell engine for bonus points, how many letters are an engine? Six, you get six points for motor. If you're in elementary school and you wear glasses, what do they call you? It's called four eyes. So you get four points for eye opening. And if you can watch TV, meaning you watch the TV show, The Voice, and you can spell voice, how many letters are in voice? Five, you get five points for verbal. So six, if you count the number of cylinders in your car, or you can spell engine. If you wear glasses, we call you four eyes. Five letters in voice, you get five points for verbal. You can now do a Glasgow Coma scale.